competency-based framework is defined as a basic conceptual structure, including relevant physicians' duties and obligations around which core competencies can be built, whereas competency-based medical education, CBME, is defined as an outcome-based approach to the design, implementation, assessment and evaluation of medical education programs using an organising framework of competencies. Outcome-based education is considered a paradigm shift and the most significant development in medical education in the last three decades. There are many rationales which led to the evolution of this new approach to medical education. Prominent among them is the shift from a teacher-centred to a student-centred approach. The latter focuses on what the student should know and what the student will be able to do at the end of their program. In an era of greater public accountability, medical curricula must ensure that all graduates are competent in all essential domains. In view of this, medical education needs to be more transparent for learners, teachers and the public with respect to its goals and effectiveness and must prepare trainees for practice. De-emphasising time-based training in favour of outcomes is yet another rationale for CBME. In time-based training, the focus is on the time a learner spends on an educational unit, whereas in CBME, focus is on the learning attained. This would mean a change from fixed time and flexible standards to fixed standards and flexible time in medical education programs. Based on these rationales, many countries identify and outline medical competencies using well-defined frameworks such as the Accreditation Council for Graduate Medical Education, ACGME, in the United States of America, CanMeds in Canada, Tomorrow's Doctors in the United Kingdom, and Saudi Med in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. These frameworks help to reform medical education curricula in their respective countries by making them more relevant to societal needs and by ensuring they graduate physicians who are fit for purpose and ready for practice. The National Competency Task Force was established by the Deans of Medical Schools under the auspices of the Commission for Academic Accreditation, CAA, and in collaboration with the National Institute for Health Specialties, NIHS. In February 2021, the task force nominated members from different stakeholder agencies and institutions, including medical schools in the country. Participants also included thought leaders relevant to healthcare and education, such as the CAA, Ministry of Education, representing the National Qualification Framework, QF Emirates, Health Service Authorities, the Department of Health Abu Dhabi, Dubai Health Authority, and the Ministry of Health and Prevention and graduate medical education institutes. Assalamu alaikum, colleagues and friends. I would like to take this opportunity to express my thanks and gratitude to all members of the task force, including various stakeholders who work very hard to complete this important documents, the Emirates Meds. Having a national framework will definitely boost the level of medical education across the whole country, improve the quality of the medical education, and help to bench the standard of education across all medical colleges in the country. Our common aim is to improve the level of medical education and to improve the standard of the healthcare in the country and beyond. At the College of Medicine and Health Sciences UA University, we are committed to adopt the Emirates Med and guide our current and future reform curriculum. Welcome to the College of Medicine UA University. Welcome to Al Ain, the oasis of the UAE, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. And good day, everyone. Today, we're celebrating the signing of the Emirates Medical Competency Framework, the creation of a national framework tailored to the needs of the UAE is a significant step forward. We have actively participated in all task force meetings and workshops. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who helped to finalize this document 
and to provide assurance to it. The NIHS will continue to collaborate on future phases of this project. The goal is to ensure a smooth transition from undergraduate programs to future practice through residency training. Thank you and congratulations. The College of Medicine at Mohammed bin Rashid University of Medicine and Health Sciences welcomes the Emirates Med initiative of having a national competency framework for undergraduate medical education. This competency framework will undoubtedly assist in defining relevant outcomes for undergraduate medical programs in the country. In addition, it will enhance benchmarking and experience sharing among medical schools. I would like to thank the task force on the competency framework representing all medical schools for an excellent piece of work. We will continue to support future development of the framework. My sincere appreciation also goes to the Commission for Academic Accreditation, who has been instrumental in conceiving this initiative. I hope this signing ceremony marks the beginning of an exciting phase of undergraduate medical education for our nation. The unique demographics, healthcare needs, and explosive growth of the information in the nation and region were also given special consideration. The proposed list of nine thematic roles is, the line, is in line with qualification framework for the UAE, the Canadian Physician Competency Framework, ACGME, and Association of American Medical Colleges Physician Competencies. Uh, we would like to congratulate the CIA and thank the scientific committee which has done a great effort in preparing the draft for the Emirati MET competency framework. And to be able, in a short time actually, to be approved by all these in the UAE. Now the output of the framework will certainly help us in improving the current curriculum and in shaping out the future curriculum for all medical school in the region. I want to congratulate the leadership of the medical schools in the United Arab Emirates, as well as my, my fellow deans and members of the committee that formulated this framework. I know that this, is a, this framework constitutes a major step forward in the development of medical education in the UAE. For the medical student, it creates a clear roadmap as to what is needed for them to become doctors in this country. And for the country, it will serve as a major push you know, for the UAE to become a global hub for healthcare provision in the world. This progressive step would have an impact on not only the medical education scenario in the country, but will ensure graduating competent and interestable medical graduates who will contribute positively to the knowledge and health economy of this great country, UAE, inshallah. On behalf of Dubai Medical College for Girls, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the CEA and UAE University for taking the initiative to create a task force to establish Emirates Med uh, Competency Framework to be used as a common set of foundation competencies to be applied for undergraduate medical education. The occasion heralds a major change to the approach of medical education, starting from program design, uh, program application, program evaluation, to learners' assessment. The emphasis has now shifted from acquiring factual knowledge to acquiring competencies and observable skills. The application of nine competencies and 14 EPAs will allow us to have a collaboration across the globe that will allow our learners to learn at the highest standards. On behalf of uh, Khalifa University College of Medicine and Health Sciences, I offer my heartiest congratulations to the entire team of experts that worked on this extensive document. Having been part of uh, um, a similar team at the World Health Organization or the WHO, I can speak to the exhaustive efforts and the challenges in seeking consensus and the group here has successfully accomplished that task. This is an important milestone and I'm delighted that UAE, as always, ensures that we are not behind the curve when it comes to embracing and implementing modern ways of thinking and doing things. 
Uh, finally, I want to share my sense of eagerness and excitement in collaborating with the other medical schools in UAE in the implementation stages of this competency framework.